Once there was a land where everything was blue. Try to imagine everything everywhere blue. The flowers, the grass, the trees, the streets and the footpaths, even the sun and the moon, everything was blue. Even the people who lived in blue land, the Fitzley Putzleys, were blue, blue, blue. They lived in the meadows, under the leaves, or in the blossoms of the flowers. The Fitzley Putzleys loved each other very much. No one was ever jealous or mad with anyone else. They never squabbled with each other, and they never ever dreamed that there were any other colors anywhere in the world. Now it so happened that in a land not very far away, there lived a color king. The color king loved colorful things more than anything else. In his kingdom, things just couldn't be colorful enough. The color king began to feel sorry for the Fitzley Putzleys because the only color they knew was blue. He decided to give them a present, the color red, to make them even happier than they already were. One moonlit night, the color king rolled a bright red ball right into the middle of blue land. The ball was enchanted so that the first person who saw it and made a wish would have his wish come true. After that, the ball would lose its magical power. The magic ball rolled into blue land and stopped right under a flower. On one of the flower's leaves, sat a Fitzley Putzley who hadn't gone to sleep yet. On this particular night, the moon was full and bright, so the Fitzley Putzley could see the red ball clearly. Oh, how pretty, he said to himself. What a beautiful color. I'm only blue. I wish I could be such a wonderful color. Then he thought about the beautiful red ball for a while, wondered where it came from and why it had come to blue land. But then he got so tired that he fell sound asleep. When he woke up early the next morning, he saw that his friends had already discovered the bright red ball. They were looking at and touching it from all sides. Everyone was talking at the same time, and they were all very excited. Then, one of them pointed up at the Fitzley Putzley, up on the leaf who had just woken up and was watching all the excitement. And suddenly, everyone got completely quiet. They were all staring up at him. He looked down at himself and was terribly shocked. My goodness, he wasn't blue. He was the same color as the red ball. He didn't look like the others anymore. He jumped down from his flower because he wanted to talk to his friends, but they all turned away from him. Some of them started whispering to each other. Some of them got angry. Some just laughed at him. One was even afraid of him, started to cry, and ran away. That made the red Fitzley Putzley very, very sad. He was still a Fitzley Putzley, even though he was another color. The 
color king was sad too. He had seen everything and was quite confused. He had wanted to make the Fitzley Putzleys happy, but everything had gone wrong. Then he had an idea. If he sent another color to Blue Land, maybe that would help. So during the very next night, he sent another magic ball to Blue Land, this time a yellow one. The yellow ball rolled right up to a Fitzley Putzley. The color was so bright that he had to close his eyes. Then he thought to himself, the color of this ball is even more beautiful than the one we found this morning. If I could be this color, I would be much prettier than anyone else. And before he could even finish thinking, he was perfectly yellow. He was so excited about his new color, he could hardly sleep. He couldn't wait to hear what his friends would say about it. Early the next morning, there was a lot of excitement in Blue Land. Some found the yellow Fitzley Putzley much prettier than the red one and only wanted to play with him. Some thought the red Fitzley Putzley was prettier than the yellow. Others didn't want to have anything to do with the red or the yellow one and only played with their blue friends. But there was one Fitzley Putzley who couldn't decide who he wanted to play with because he liked the red one, the yellow one, and the blue ones. And because he couldn't decide whom to play with, he got sadder and sadder. Finally, he decided to have a talk with the red one and the yellow one. That afternoon, the three of them met secretly in the tall reeds. The blue Fitzley Putzley took the red one and the yellow one by their red and yellow hands and said, I'm so sad. It used to be nicer in Blue Land. No one was ever mad. We all played together. I wish it could be that way again because I love all of you. Now, what the three friends didn't know was that all the other Fitzley Putzleys had quietly followed them and had hidden in the tall reeds to see what the three friends were doing. Then they saw something very amazing. The hidden Fitzley Putzleys were so curious that they came out of their hiding places just in time to see their blue friend put his arms around the red Fitzley Putzley. Look, said one of them, they're hugging each other and their colors are blending to make a brand new color. Yes, said the others, that shouldn't be happening. Oh, yes, it should, said the blue Fitzley Putzley, who was hugging the red one. It certainly should be happening. And with that, he laughed right out loud. Then the red Fitzley Putzley gave the yellow one a kiss. Look, look, said the others. The red one is giving the yellow one a kiss, and that's making still another color. That must be magic. Oh no, said the blue friend of red and yellow. It's not magic. Watch this. 
Then he took the yellow Fitzley Putzley by the hand and happily danced with him right across the blue meadow. Look, look, called the other Fitzley Putzleys. The blue one is dancing with the yellow one, and that is making another beautiful color. That must certainly be magic. No, said the blue Fitzley Putzley. It's not magic at all. It only happens because we finally love each other again. The Fitzley Putzleys had discovered something wonderful. Now they knew that when they loved each other, they could make all the colors of the rainbow and they could make the new colors all by themselves. No one had to help them. From that moment on, they had a most wonderful time with each other in Blue Land. Everything was the way it had always been. Well, almost everything. Because now, their little world had become much more colorful and even happier than it was before.